hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to make this type of photography logo that's the modern type creative photography logo so it's totally about up to you but i'll show you some process which will make you more like creative or other things so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'll go to the file and new options which is the measurement 2560 and 1440 this one and pixels obviously the pixels and horizontal and the resolution will be 200 pixel per inch that's why just i just took the pixels and color mode rgb and hit the create button you'll get a new blank artboard so at first i'll write down here and like a photograph so at first i'll go to the file and place embedded options and i downloaded some image from pixels.com and i'll give you that stock image download link so i'll fit with the skin and the artboard actually so i'll make it up like that yeah that's fine right press and restylize the layer and after that i'll go to the solid color and take a light gray color that is the 1c 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 the color code is like that and hit ok and the opposite will be 65 that's fine so unlock this background and select all the things make it group and i lock it up and now i'll write down something okay and for that i'll go to the text tool and write down like here was the name like z that means it's z photography so z e t so i'll select all the things and a font which is the bon voice yeah this one and i'll select all the things and go to the character if you are not getting these character options over there go to the window and select the character you'll get like this type of window so here is the uh, gap between two letters and i'll make it zero that's fine so capital j yeah and t like that so normally like this yeah this is similar to this one and press ctrl t and make it bigger yeah minimum bigger size and hit the tick button yeah that's fine and now i'll write down the photography that is a normal font and i'll give the font size 50 or 12 that's fine and okay and i'll make it bigger for the view purpose and then i'll change the font like uh, next the bold and photography photography so and hit the tick button press ctrl t and it is smaller and yeah smaller like that and hit the tick button but i'll give some uh, gap between letters and here is the options in the character options and if you increase this one suppose i'll give 100 or 200 yeah that's fine and it will be 12 and i'll make it 300 okay that's fine and make it a little bit bigger okay that's fine so but uh, here just overlapped this one the t and the photography r and y so that's why this this one and if i cut this portion like this then it will be visible so how to do that i'll turn it off this one and here the zet or zet so this one is a in a type or the text tool or text format but i'll make it the photo so how to do that right press and restylize the type if i restylize this one this one is no more uh, text and you can't change it so now i'll open just turn it on the layer and then just select this one the zet this layer 
and go to the select option rectangular marquee tool and i'll mark this area only and just press the delete button press ctrl d for the deselect and you'll get the photograph if you cut more like this yeah just delete this one yeah that's fine it's done already so press ctrl t if you make it more bigger then select this two layer and make it group and give the name logo and i'm giving this name bg bg for the background if you turn it off you'll get the transparent background so this and logo press ctrl a and just align them in a middle and if you need you can make it bigger so if you want to make it a png image or transparent background what should you do just turn off the bg options here here you are getting some white letters and press ctrl shift and right press and make it png give the name logo photograph so and first and, and hit the ok button it just got you got some png so how to at first go to the file and open up suppose this one is my photography and i want to just uh, replace that logo in these images so go to the file and place embedded options you just export that this one in a png format the place options and just make it bigger and you can place it any corner or anywhere in your photography and if you need you can change the opacity suppose i want to make it like down or if you want to just place here you can just it's the technique to make a logo like photography the modern day photography logo and how to export it like png or transparent background and how to apply it on your photography this is the whole process i just just given here so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and i am asm signing out today thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and hit the bell icon and do comment over there if you have any kind of question query request so i am asm signing out today and bye bye